Congratulations on your new Murals Your Way wall mural. You can be assured that you've purchased one of the finest murals available. Unlike many other brands, our murals are only printed on Type 2 solid vinyl fabric-backed wall covering with a highly fade-resistant UV-protected ink. While the quality of our materials and custom sizing options are what set our murals apart, they also require a greater level of comfort with hanging wall coverings. If you're not comfortable hanging wallpaper, we recommend you contact a member of the Guild of Professional Paper Hangers. They have a national network of professionals with a tradition of excellence and are sure to hang your mural to your complete satisfaction. If you're going to hang your mural yourself, we highly recommend working with a partner. Before getting started, it's a good idea to make sure you have all the tools you'll need to hang your mural. We suggest having premixed medium to heavyweight wall covering adhesive, paste, a foam smoothing brush, straight edge for trimming, wood handled cutting blade with extra blades, level, laser level if available, roller brush, drop cloths, clean damp sponge, microfiber drawing cloths, pencil for drawing guidelines, sandpaper, and a ladder or step stool. We recommend that you inspect your mural for any defects before you begin the installation process. If you find a defect, please contact us immediately. We'll work with you to make sure you are 100% satisfied with your purchase. The most important factor in ensuring a successful installation process is to start with a smooth wall surface that's free of irregularities. If you currently have wallpaper or another type of wall covering on your wall, make sure to remove it completely, including all excess paste. You'll also want to remove all picture frame hooks, light fixtures, and switch plates. Once that's done, fill any cracks or holes in the wall with a spackling compound and sand until smooth. If your wall is textured, wood paneled, or made of cinder block or any other rough surface, we recommend installing liner paper followed by two coats of flat latex paint before installing your mural. A liner paper is simply blank wallpaper that will cover any irregularities on the wall surface. The ideal surface for hanging your mural is a wall primed with an inexpensive flat latex paint. If you're unsure what type of paint is currently on your wall, we recommend two new coats of latex paint. If the existing paint is a gloss or semi-gloss, use a medium grit sandpaper to roughen the wall slightly. The number of panels your mural comes in will be determined by the size of the mural. It's a good idea to lay out the panels first and number them so that you're sure to hang them in the right order. Next, use a pencil to create guidelines to follow when hanging your panels. Start by marking the desired starting point for the upper left-hand corner of your mural. This is usually the corner of the wall, but can be any point you choose. Measure the width of the top left panel and make a second point where the first panel ends. Keep in mind that your murals may have to an inch and a half bleed area on all sides to accommodate for irregular walls. Therefore, it's important to make sure to subtract three quarters to one inch off each side of your mural when measuring your guidelines. Even though there will be a bit of overlap, never pre-trim your mural in case the wall or ceiling is not completely level. Move down the wall, repeating this process until you have several vertical dots. Then connect these dots by using your level to draw a vertical line that extends from the ceiling to the floor. This will be your guideline as you adhere the rest of your mural panels. The success of your entire project will largely depend on hanging your first panel straightly, so take your time and make sure the line is level. Next, it's time to start the adhesive process. However, don't start applying paste to your panels until you've checked and double-checked all of your measurements and are sure you have all the necessary tools at hand. Beginning with the upper left panel of your mural, lay the panel blank side up on a clean flat surface, such as a table. Using a roller paintbrush, apply an even layer of paste to the entire panel. To make moving and transporting the mural easier, fold the pasted sides onto each other without creasing them, leaving some paste exposed at the top of the mural. This process is called booking. Standing on a step stool or ladder, slide the panel into position so that it touches your guideline starting in the top left corner and unfold the bottom portion from its booked form. Once the entire panel is stuck to the wall, use a clean damp sponge or foam smoothing brush to gently press the panel against the wall, working from the ceiling down. Using light strokes, smooth out all wrinkles and bubbles by pulling outward. Be careful, using too much pressure can stretch the mural. Repeat steps 4 and 5 for each additional panel of your mural. Align panel number 2 to panel number 1. Remember that there will be about a 2-inch overlap. 
be sure to match up the pattern of the mural rather than the panel edges. You can either simply overlap the mural panels, or if you're comfortable with double cutting, you can do so at each seam. A padded double cut will help you avoid cutting into the wall. To do this, take a scrap piece of panel and place it underneath the two layers of panel that you want to match up. Using your level, cut a straight seam line down the wall where the panels overlap. When you're done, peel the layers back and remove the excess scrap. The result is a seamless budding of the two panels. If you decide to overlap rather than double cut the panels, a vinyl to vinyl adhesive can be applied to keep the panel edges from curling where they overlap. When all of the mural panels have been pasted to the wall, trim any excess edges that cover the ceiling or baseboards using your straight edge. It's a good idea to use a wood handled blade when trimming around electrical outlets to avoid electrocution. Be sure to cut slowly and change blades often for the best cut. Once all panels are in place and you've smoothed out any bubbles or wrinkles, remove excess paste residue with a clean wet sponge. To remove water spots that may be left behind, we recommend wiping the entire surface thoroughly with a microfiber towel or cloth. Your wall mural installation is now complete. While our murals are designed to last for up to 20 years indoors and 5 years outdoors, they can also easily be removed at any time. Simply follow standard wallpaper removal procedures and your wall will be ready for a new decorating project. Should you have any questions when installing or removing your mural, please contact us at 1-888-235-1318 and one of our wall mural experts will be happy to assist you. Thanks for shopping with Murals Your Way. Be sure to check out our regularly updated gallery of murals for your next home decor project at www.muralsyourway.com.